folks, I'm making my way down to Bloomfield Road. This is a very tough game today. We've got Peterborough, they're currently third in the league and I'm sure that they are the bookies favourite to win this game. We've not got to Curtis Tilt playing today, which some would say could be a good thing. Maybe he needs a bit of a break. He's cost us quite a few points, hasn't he? And, um, you know, getting sent off last week and he's done those two errors at home where he stood on the ball and gave the ball away. And really, hopefully, we're not going to make any silly errors like that today. Uh, I'm going for a 2-1 win. I'm hoping Blackpool can win. We need to get back to winning ways at home. It's very, very important to win at home. And we just haven't been doing it at home. If we want to keep these crowds going and keep the enthusiasm going, we need to win at home. It's as simple as that. So hopefully with um, the family day and the buzz around the you know, the stand for that. Maybe the players have been lifted and maybe they're going to put on a performance today that we're all going to be very, very proud of. Here she is, selling her fanzines. We're not putting this in. Is he bickering? What's your name? Cole. Cole. All right, yeah. Cole, what do you think today? Are we, can we win today? I we... reckon we're going to get a massive result today, an unexpected one. I reckon 3 1 win Blackpool. So what's your names? Mark and Jane. Mark and Jane. Have you followed Blackpool for ages? For yeah, time? yeah, for about 10 years now, 12 years probably. Years. Did you yeah. meet through football or no. just, just amazing that you both like Blackpool? <laughs> that's the one, that's the one, mate. We've all loved Blackpool, yeah. Well, Jane's actually a stand in today because my friend isn't here, Mark. He's away on holiday. Oh, so yeah. she's come as a substitute. So you, have you been to match before? I've been to quite a few matches before, but. <laughs> But she likes a bit before the game and, and a, a bit, bit after, because that's in the pub and after the she pub. Likes the pub before and after. I like, like I'm like Jane. I yeah. like the. the... <laughs> you watch all the videos, Jane. Don't you all your way games. <laughs> Go on, Jane. Get on the video. <laughs> I think it's going to struggle today. I think. Mm, it's it's going to be a tough like game. Can't do like the rugby done. Come on, we so, need to win. It was shocking the rugby. Yeah, it was shocking. Yeah. <laughs> we were beaten by the better team. We were, yeah. Right, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Up the up the field. What's the score today? Blackpool. Go on. What is it? Oh, I hope. Two, Do you know? 3-1. 1-0. One. One. One nil. One nil. <laughs> Sir Alex is here. Yeah. You see Sir Alex and Bloomfield Road.
Oh, we definitely deserve it. Should be winning.
to go. Oh no! How is he not seeing the? How is it, what is this linesman on? Oh my god, it was so stressed here. The referee's giving him every free kick he possibly can. Oh, it's just, it's, we just need to get it down in that corner. We can't get all the ball. exciting game about four people left the stadium it was oh my god I'll tell you what oh that was a stressful game but I oh, loved it absolutely loved it that's that's what I want to see that's how good we are I don't care what you say we're good enough this team strengthened in January I tell you what we could go a long way we're a good side when we play well brilliant Blackpool thank you very much Today, Blackpool were back on form, were they? They played, they played the, like, the way we want to see them play, and when they play well, they're a damn good team. Oh, it's so entertaining. Yeah, they really, really enjoyed and that. And they, and they were a good side of play as well, so yeah. that, that was just you. Right, so we uh, interviewed you before the game, now we got you after. What do you think of that game? Absolutely wonderful. Was your lucky charm? Yes, she was, yeah. She's come to every game now. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Well, I'm going to buy her a season ticket. <laughs> 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 buy her a season ticket. Excellent. It was a great game, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it fantastic game? Entertaining. It was a bit of that now. Oh, it's nerves are jangled. Lend you the seat stuff, it is. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> brilliant, wasn't it? Uh, I'm, I'm glad allowed you to come again then. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Love you more. Right, go on then, Archie. What do you think? I thought the match was good because, well, quite bad at the same time because the referee was terrible. <laughs> it's giving him lots of free kicks, wasn't it? Yeah, and Nandi scored a hat trick. Yeah. And their players scored their own goal. I oh, know. And they cheated a lot. That means, <laughs> and really, we deserve to win. Really. We did deserve to win. What, what do you think, Inge? So I. My prediction at the start of the game was 4-3. Was it? Yeah. 4-3, wow, you predicted 4-3. That's yeah, unbelievable. That's you got it absolutely bang on, didn't you? And then, so, um, I'm happy for Grandewak because he got a of the yeah, match. Yeah, it was brilliant, wasn't it? And what about you? Um, I think we played uh, pretty well because Grandelay scored uh, some three fantastic goals, including the penalty. I think we played very well. We did play well today, didn't we? It was good to see, wasn't it? Yeah. Blackpool are back, eh? 
Strengthen it, strengthen in January, who knows, eh? It's very good anyway. Sure, like we can play. Thank you. Bye. Be on. See you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Come on, tell me how you feel. Every week we'll be champions. I know. Oh, we good today. Amazing. I'm on. I'm, I'm on with Angela. I'm an Angela. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> he was awesome. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle, it was yeah? good, yeah, brilliant, brilliant wasn't yeah. it? No, it was a good game. I, today, did, I didn't expect that. No. I wish I'd have turned on that book is. <laughs> yeah, mm. one of the one of the little kids just had she predicted four three. Did they? Yeah, yeah. Before the game. Yeah, she, apparently so. Yeah. yeah Not with me, but she did. I know. Well, two of the goals were their own goals, though, wasn't they? Yeah, yeah. Don't matter though. It's it an entertaining game, wasn't it? Yeah. Keep playing like that. Hopefully, yeah. All right. Cheers, Kevin. What's your name? Pat Simon. This Aiden. Aiden, what do you think of the game today? Yeah, just brilliant. I think he's. Took a little hole from Sam Grayson because I think that uh, if he plays anything other than attacking football, he's yeah. in trouble. I think even they'll even accept a few like four-two defeats if it's we're trying to play quicker football. He's seen quicker. Yeah. Um, don't know if he, if he can play left back or left wing, but left wing back that McDonald looks a real. I think that McDonald. I, I, I think that McDonald was the difference there. I thought. I did. Awesome. I did as well. And there's little things like you could just see that they're all the desire to win them 50 50s Yeah. Um, and. I've probably been a bit critical of Spearing, but I thought he was pretty good. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. They all are good, yeah. Um, what do you yeah. think, your man? You enjoy it? Yeah, it was probably one of the best games I've seen this season. It was a great game, wasn't yeah. it? We just showed how good we are, didn't we, when, yeah. we're, when we play well? Yeah, all right. So, yeah, yeah. See you on the video. Yeah, I just want to say uh, congratulations, Trevor. You did a really good job for us down in Leicestershire. Absolutely spot oh, on. Oh, you're in Leicestershire? Yeah, that's, we travel up every time for Leicestershire. Oh, okay. So, um, wow. absolutely. Um, Spot on what you do because all the little videos like the one we just had now, the training, yeah. we get to watch you all get to see it. So, really, top, keep it up. What a game. I think that's the best game that we've played at Bloomfield Road all season. We were on it from the word go. Yes, there was a few crazy goals and things, but on the whole, it was a brilliant match. What do you think? It was absolutely magnificent. It was wonderful to see the players really hungry and attacking pretty much constantly. One of the criticisms has been that they haven't been a 90 minute team, but they pretty much were today. I mean, right from the word go. What I particularly love, which was wonderful, was their heads didn't drop when they conceded, especially when they conceded just before half time. You, previously, you would have seen, you know, the, the body language that the heads just, you know, the heads dropping. There was none of that conceding just before half time, and you just knew that we were going to come out and just get one back. And and I just felt that we were going to win. I, I I felt comfortable. You weren't quite the same way. You? you were a little bit nervous towards the end that we didn't have more of a cushion. Yeah, I wasn't. I was. I was yes. I, I was. I was ruining all the time the fact we let a goal in right at half time and, and got them let let them go in two two because if we'd have just had that cushion, I thought we just had a two goal cushion. I thought it would have been a little bit more of an easy ride towards the end, and it just seemed that second half just seemed to be going on a long time. The five minutes of injury time, you were like, oh come on. Uh, but no, it was, it was just a brilliant game, entertaining. Seven goals. I mean, can't ask for more than that, and uh, it just shows you. Uh, Larry, if you attack, that's what happens, isn't it? The team attack. Yeah, yeah. and entertaining is the key word there yeah. because, uh, I mean, I said to you, didn't I, even if we lose this game, yeah. I, I, I won't mind because I've been entertaining. That's all I've been wanting for the last few weeks. It just hasn't been entertaining. And today was just, it was wonderfully entertaining. I wouldn't have minded because they showed that hunger and they were attacking and it's exactly what I want to watch. And, and even if we'd lost, I, you know, okay, I would have been disappointed, but I wouldn't have minded. And uh, you said someone else said that to you, didn't you? You're yeah, they did. Yeah, we were coming out of the ground. He said, "Yeah, even if we'd have lost, uh, it was just a fantastic game today." Uh, for me, um, I thought that McDonald played amazing. I just, I just thought he was a big difference because he was attacking all the time from that midfield. He wanted to drive the ball forward, and I thought that's what we'd be missing. I thought. Um, Liam Feeney had a great game, oh, and of gosh. course, Nangelay was just awesome. Well, I mean, that first goal really. I, you know, it's a shame he's been giving us an own goal because yeah. it was all his work, wasn't it? The head on and everything. Oh was... God, it was just, it just showed how determined he was and how hungry for goal that he was just, you know, he'd leant forward to, to, to head that ball, to you know, project it, propel it towards goal. Yeah. And um, I wasn't even looking at the ball going we in the net. Was penalty, yeah, that's we? I thought because he was bundled over, I was thinking, oh, penalty, penalty. And then everyone was cheering. I'm like, oh gosh, yeah. it actually went in the net. But, no, went right the but so it's, it's, it's definitely a shame that it wasn't awarded to Nangelo because, you know, he was the one who did all the work and, and if it had been a penalty he would have scored it so he would have got the goal that way yeah and, and we, it would definitely have been awarded I think if I don't think there was any question if that goal hadn't if it hadn't been a goal from open play yeah. that we would have had a penalty but and he's your 
favourite big striker since? Since Dave Bamba, yes. I've always had it, you know, when I first started watching Blackpool in the early 90s, you know, Dave Bamba was wonderful and he scored 40 goals in a season and no one's come even close to that. You know, a lot of people like John Murphy and he never really did it for me, but Nangele is, is yeah. the only one who's who's come close because like you keep saying, you wouldn't want to play against him, would you? No, you, you wouldn't want to be in the helpful. opposite team. If he was playing the opposite team, you're thinking, wow, this, this guy's big, isn't he? And he's just a great player. I, I think he's going to get better and better, better and better, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Are we doing a man of the match? For, for today? Yeah. Oh, Nangelo for me. So Nangelo for you. Because yeah. uh, well, I, I think I still believe that he got a hat-trick because I'm not I'm not having this. I'm not having these this own goal nonsense no. because I, I'll give Feeney. Was that his first, Feeney's first goal? Yeah. So I would give Feeney that goal and I would give Nangelo the hat-trick. Yeah. Because when I was match temperature of Chase Town, I would never give an own goal. Um, unless it was obviously you couldn't give it to the striker because defenders don't want own goals and strikers want the goals so yeah. why, why would you ever give an own goal I, I don't understand where that comes from so Nangelay got a hat trick today yeah. so hat trick for Nangelay and a great first goal for Liam Feen that's yes. what we're for yeah yeah it's better <laughs> news isn't it <laughs> of course it is see you in the next video folks thanks for watching bye who's your man of the match I'm not saying you're not saying? <laughs> I was going to say Nangelay, but she's stolen it already, so okay. I'd have to go, well, I'd have to go for, um, I'd go for McDonald then in that case. Yeah, all right, yeah, if you're filming Nangelay, I like McDonald. Who was your match, man of the match post in the comments down below? Thank you very much, see you all in the next video. Ben Hennigan was very good, he's a good player, isn't he? You can't have another one. <laughs> he's every time, just every time. It's, it's great done. to have done choices. Nangelay, she's done Nangelay, that's it. Yeah, but if you asked me who was man of the match at Burton or Carlisle, I wouldn't, I wasn't I wouldn't have been able to. No, <laughs> no Ben Hennigan. Yeah, we, yeah, we like Ben Hennigan. We like Ben Hennigan. Yeah. Like to thought, sign him. Yeah, it was just a great game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Feeney was superb. Um, it just the balls he whipped in from the wing. Yeah. It's just it's a joy to be able to enthuse about the match today because it really, really was good football, and it's it's such a joy to watch them, you know, hmm. compared to the last few weeks, to be able to enthuse about it is, is awesome. God, it's all we want to do, isn't it? We want to say positive things and yeah. it's been very difficult the last few weeks. I really had to edit my blog. But we're very, po we're, we're very, you know, we're very positive, aren't we? And uh, yeah. it's one of the things that I've, you know, I've even said on the, um, you know, the fans message boards that um, I think we're a better team than where, where we are. I think we've, you know, we've thrown points away and I think we should be right up there at the top because I, I actually do think we are a good side mm -hmm. and I think if we strengthen in January we could be going up folks I still believe that. Mm, I think one thing that, that swung to my mind today is people say that football fans are fickle and you know we've maybe been a little bit critical for the last few weeks I don't, I don't think unfairly to be fair um, but all we want to see is the team doing well and I get super excited and you get super excited. You know, when you see a we're performance bussing. like that we're today. Absolutely, we're absolutely bossy. And yeah, we maybe get a little bit carried away, but it's we want to we want to be enthusing, we, we, we get excited. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. That's why we go and watch football, because we want to get excited about the team and, and they've actually given us something really to get excited about today for the first time in, in a number of weeks. It's nice to have things to say because it's yeah. been very difficult after the past few games, hasn't it? To, yeah, it has been quite difficult. It's been lovely to say something. Thing, really positive to you guys so thanks for sticking with us through a few dark weeks haven't they really they've been a bit dark weeks but yeah. uh, we're back yeah now we've got another three home games on the bounce so let's hope we can get a bit of a run going anyway hope you enjoy hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in in the next one thanks to everybody for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet please just click the subscribe button and also that little bell that gives you a notification of any videos that we do so we will see you in the next one which will be the Carabao Cup. <laughs>